Hi everyone, let's take a look at the following example. Use a calculator to evaluate each trig ratio rounded to four decimal places. Step number one, make sure with your scientific calculator, you are in degree mode. And of course, depending on the calculator, it might say DEG, it may even say D, it might say degrees, but it's really important that you're in degree mode. And be mindful that cosecant theta it's the same as taking 1 divided by sine theta. Secant theta is the same as taking 1 divided by cosine theta. And last but not least, cotangent theta is the same as taking 1 divided by 10 theta. To my knowledge, most scientific calculators will only have the sine, cosine, and tan theta key, but you would not find the cosecant, secant, or cotangent. So that's what we're going to use in order to evaluate this. So in the first part, part A, cosecant of three uh, of 35 degrees, that's the same as taking one divided by sine of 35 degrees. So I grab the calculator, press one divided by sine of 35 degrees. That's going to be approximately 1.7434 if I round this to four decimal places. Likewise, if I look at the next one, secant of 216 degrees is one divided by cosine of 216 degrees. I press 1 divided by cosine of 216 degrees, which is approximately negative 1.2361. Accordingly, if I look at the next part, part C, cotangent of 25 degrees is 1 divided by 10 of 25 degrees. I press 1 divided by 10 of 25, which is approximately 2.1445. I would like you to pause the video, keep going, try the rest of this. When you press play again, I'll be here. Welcome back. So again, if you think about cosecant of 122 degrees, that's one divided by sine of 122 degrees. That's one divided by sine of 122 in a calculator, which is approximately 1.1792 for part E. Secant of 142 degrees, that's 1 divided by cosine of 142 degrees. Again, if I work this out with a calculator, that's going to be negative 1.2690 approximately. Again, if I go to the next part, part F, cotangent of 223 degrees is 1 divided by 10 of 223 degrees, which is approximately 1.07. Two, four. Second last example, if I take cosecant of 321 degrees, this is 1 divided by sine of 321 degrees, which is approximately negative 1.5890. Last but not least, great start, great finisher. If you think about secant of 355 degrees, that's 1 divided by cosine of 355 degrees which is approximately 1.0038 approximately. If you find this video meaningful, it's adding value to your math life, please comment, like, share, and subscribe. I hope this makes sense.